are you doing? A warm welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Jamie Naftali and I create the awareness on the common illnesses affecting children while growing up. I also uh, want people to have the know-how. I want to include everybody into management of uh, uh, these babies when they are growing up. We want uh, to have the knowledge and also the know-how again. So welcome to my YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed, please hit on that subscribe button. Subscribe so that you may be part of this wonderful family. If you are that returning subscriber, thank you so much. Keep following and also share these videos widely so that many people can reach them. We want in the end uh, to have healthy babies. We also want to improve the quality of life of these children. So welcome into today's episode and today's episode we are continuing with our topic the HIV in children and we are doing uh, the prevention of HIV infection that is mother to child transmission of HIV. How are we able to prevent? So we say there's something called the vertical transmission whereby the mother uh, infects the child uh, when before even the child is born. So this is what we call we call it a PMTCT, that is prevention of mother to child transmission of HIV. This is the topic of today. So the MTCT, that is the mother, uh, uh, this prevention, uh, this has been integrated, this um, mother to child transmission of HIV, it has been integrated into things we call PROMS, four broad categories four prongs and in approach it is the four prongs appro approach that is applied to the pmctc guidelines to the prevention of mother to child transmission of hiv guidelines so if we are saying it is this four the four prong approach that we use so that we can have the prevention of these babies so the first prong which is the first step this we call primary prevention of HIV and this is whereby the partner, these are the partners who are HIV negative. These people, this is for the people that are not HIV infected. This is what we are calling primary prevention. We want to prevent these uh, persons, these individuals from getting the virus because already this mother is, doesn't have the virus. So this is the primary prevention of HIV. So what do we do in primary prevention of HIV to, to ensure that these mothers don't get infected? So we have active promotion and support for abstinence and even the youth. So we promote and support abstinence. Abstaining, yes, this will help, uh, the, will prevent the transmission of HIV virus. Another way, another way of primary prevention is by providing young people with correct information. So, and this is all about counsel them about uh, sexual practices. This is what we are saying. This is another way of uh, primary prevention. We also advise people, uh, this here also, it is to provide, uh, so we said the correct information. We also, uh, it is to advise people to know their status by visiting the VCTs. So encourage uh, st uh, testing. Testing is very, very important. Encouraging people, encouraging people uh, to visit the VCT, the VCT so that they may know their HIV status. Also, this is a way of primary prevention. Um, we also um, uh, uh, advise on avoidance of multiple partners. So instead of multiple partners, we advocate for single HIV negative partner. Just have one partner whom you know their status, that is their HIV negative. But instead, if we do, if a, a person has got a multiple partners, so HIV infection, getting, getting infected here is very easy. So we are advocating for a single HIV negative partner. Still, this one is a primary pre prevention. Use of condoms, yes. This one is to prevent the HIV and also the STDs, the sexually transmitted uh, 
uh, diseases. So use of condoms is also in primary prevention. We are saying in primary prevention again, we are preventing uh, that mother from getting HIV infected. And these are the ways of ensuring that we, we have the primary prevention of HIV. That is it about the first prong. How about the second prong? The second prong is prevention of unintended pregnancy by the HIV infected women. So these women here are already infected. They are infected with HIV infection. And now we want to prevent uh, the unintended pregnancy so that they don't get uh, uh, pregnancies uh, frequently because they are HIV infected. So what do we do here? They are uh, voluntary prevention of unwanted pregnancies. So in other words, we can say the unwanted pregnancies so that they don't find themselves uh, getting pregnant. The more they get pregnant, the higher chances we have for infecting even uh, the unborn baby. So this is it, voluntary prevention of unwanted pregnancy. Also, we have the family planning services. We do services for FP use of family planning so that you do not again get these unwanted uh, pregnancies this is what we promote we promote the use of effective the word is effective fp methods this way we are preventing the unwanted pregnancies in these women who are already hiv infected that is it about the second prong prevention of unwanted pregnancies by HIV infected women. How about the third prong? The third prong, uh, here we put uh, strategies, strategies to prevent the mother to child transmission of HIV in pregnant uh, women. So we are preventing the here the mother again is already, uh, the mother is HIV infected here in the third prong. And also, they have already gotten pregnant. The second one, we are preventing those unintended, unwanted pregnancies. So if the child is pregnant, if the mother is pregnant now in the third prong, and uh, they are HIV infected, so these are now the strategies to prevent the uh, transmission of mother to child uh, with HIV infection. So I hope you are understanding. So what are the strategies? Which are these are strategies we are talking about? We have quality antenatal care. Every pregnant woman is advised to go to hospital for something we call antenatal clinics. Those clinics are very, very important. This is the antenatal care. So we're taking care of the mother. So because a lot of things happen in this antenatal care. So here the mothers are given the micronutrients. For healthy babies when they are growing up in the in the womb the supplements we also here we do a lot of things there's something we call antenatal profile and in the antenatal profile it's where we do the hiv status of this mother so we are able to know the hiv status of it is mandatory when it comes it is part of the antenatal profile we do urine and the stars but hiv comes in there so antenatal Quality antenatal care. We make sure we pick about all those things when the child, the mother is coming uh, to the clinic. Um, we also do treatment of STDs and STIs because we are saying with and even UTIs. When you are you come for clinics when the woman, uh, the lady is pregnant, so we want to check the urine if we have some infections, which we treat early before uh, it worsens. Before it worsens, so this is the again the need of the what we are meaning with quality antenatal care uh, we also do provision of routine hiv counseling so when this mother comes to hospital they are pregnant so we provide routine hiv counseling we need to keep giving hope we need edu to keep educating this mother because about how to take care of themselves when they are pregnant and even the kid and how on ways of preventing transmission of this HIV infection to this unborn baby. Hope this is clear. We also do, so that is about provision of routine HIV counseling and also voluntary HIV testing and services. When it comes to deliveries, again, it's here. We do, we ensure safe deliveries. Safe deliveries because we are saying we are preventing, the mother is already infected and we want to prevent this unborn child from getting infected. So what do we mean by safe deliveries? Here we do avoidance of invasive procedures. Yes, 
when the, the, these women are giving birth, we, we avoid the invasive procedures. We have things like PROM, that is premature rupture of membrane or prolonged rupture of membrane. When it is prolonged, it will give room, it will expose the baby and the baby has a high possibility of getting infected. So we avoid all these things during delivery and this is what we are calling safe deliveries. Uh, also the CSS, we also provide ARV prophylaxis. Prophylaxis is prevention. We give drugs but these are not the ARVs real. They are not, it's not the full medication. Prophylaxis basically means prevention. Also, here we do infant feeding counseling. So when this baby comes, the mother is pregnant. Is uh, the baby, the mother has given birth, and the mother is HIV uh, positive. So we need to have feeding counseling. How this mother should feed? We just don't feed anyhow. There's a way we should feed, and we are going to see it later, so that this baby does not get infected. We are really uh, preventing this child from getting HIV infected. Um, we also need the long-term care of the baby also. So this is it about the third prong. So the third prong we are saying this mother is already pregnant and this mother is HIV positive. So now we are preventing the babies. This is the, the, what we mean by prevention of mother to, uh, prevention of transmission from mother to child. So this is what we are doing in uh, prong three, the third step. We say there are four prongs. So which is the fourth one? Now the fourth one is the care and support to the HIV infected women, their infants and also their families. We need to go beyond. We don't leave it as the mother has given birth and we leave it at that. We need to extend into taking care and giving support to these HIV infected women, their infants and also the families. So how do we take care of them? So this is by ART, they are HIV infected, all of them. So what we do, we do the ART initiation. We start on ART. ART is antiretroviral therapy. So this now we do the drugs for HIV, the full course. So we do the antiretroviral therapy and this is a, a, a lifetime, it is a lifetime treatment and we need to cancel them about this. We don't leave it at that. We need to keep canceling. We need to be coming for appointments, checking on the babies, also even on the families in case of any issues. So this ARV infusion, it should be initiated in all pregnant women, uh, breastfeeding women with HIV. All of them should be started on these drugs regardless of the gestational age Gestational age is how many months this woman is when they are pregnant. They should be started on the ARVs. Uh, so regardless of the gestational age, whatever months they are at, the WHO clinical staging, whatever stage they are in as long as they are HIV positive, the test is positive. Also, uh, regardless of the CD4 count. CD4 count is the one, it is the count we do to ensure if we do the viral load and also the CD4 count. CD4 count is, is the one, it's a kind of an immunity in the body. So it comes, it really comes, comes down and when the viral, the viral, the viral load is high. So despite the CD4 count is what we are saying, despite the WHO uh, clinical staging, despite uh, the gestational stage of this pregnant woman, as long as this woman is HIV, either pregnant or breastfeeding, they should be initiated on ART, the antiretroviral therapy. So there's nothing to say like we have to wait for staging or the CD4 count. Hope this one is very, very clear. So those are the four prompts. The four prompts when it comes to uh, prevention of HIV infection, mother to child transmission of HIV. We go, uh, these are uh, the four prongs, uh, it is the four prongs approach applied to the prevention of mother to child transmission 
of HIV guidelines. So I believe you have learned a lot. You have learned a lot. Keep tuned for more because we are going to go bit by bit so that people can understand. So it's very interesting. Again, like I said, no need to fear. We need to get the facts when it comes to this HIV infection. So thank you so much, people. This is the end of this video. Um, keep subscribing. Keep sharing this video so that people can uh, reach them. Put on your notifications so that you can be the first, first person to note every time I post a new video here. So thank you. Till next time.